let's see one more example if alpha comma beta are roots of the equation x square plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0 then prove that alpha raised to n into beta raised to n is equal to 2 raised to n now here आप सब लोग देख सकते हैं कि x square plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0 ये quadratic equation है और किसी भी quadratic equation का जब आप root find करते हो तो आपको दो roots मिलते हैं तो यहाँ पे बोला है कि alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation तो हम start ही वही से करेंगे इसलिए मैंने यहाँ पे लिखा है x square plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0 तो इसके मैं roots निकालूँगा जो दो roots आएंगे एक को alpha बोलता हूँ एक को beta बोलता हूँ then प्रूफ करने के लिए मैं LHS स्टार्ट करता हूँ और लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में दिया है अल्फा रेस टू एन इनटू बीटा रेस टू एन तो मैं अल्फा का एंथ पावर फाइंड करूँगा बीटा का एंथ पावर फाइंड करूँगा और उनको मल्टीप्लाई करके चेक करूँगा कि टू रेस टू एन आंसर आता है कि नहीं तो मैंने इक्वेशन ऑलरेडी लिखा हुआ है तो आप देख सकते हो कि अगर इस इक्वेशन का अगर मैं फैक्टर्स फाइंड करूँ तो वो डायरेक्टली नहीं आते क्योंकि टू के फैक्टर्स नहीं आएंगे सो so, इसके लिए हम लोग जो हमने स्कूल में नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड में जो मेथड यूज किया था वही मैं रिपीट करता हूँ तो उसके लिए मैं इसको कंपेयर करूंगा अकॉर्डेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर्म दैट इज ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हियर वी विल गेट ए इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज कोई फिशेंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर इज ए हियर कोई फिशेंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर इज वन नेक्स्ट कोई फिशेंट ऑफ एक्स इज बी so here the coefficient of x is 2 so b becomes 2 and c is again 2 so as per the formula the roots of this quadratic equation are given by the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so now i will substitute values of a b and c so we will get minus of b here b is 2 so minus 2 plus or minus root of b square so 2 square is 4 minus 4 a c a is 1 c is 2 so 1 into 2 it is 2 upon 2a so 2 into a a is 1 so therefore this x will become minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8. It will give me minus 4 upon 2. Now, minus 2 as it is. Now, we all know that we cannot find out square root of a negative number. So, hence, I will divide this negative number in two parts. That is, minus 1 into 4 upon 2 so abhi main inka root separately find karunga to aap sabko pata hai ki root of 4 is 2 and root of minus 1 is nothing but i kyunki jab humne complex number start kiya tha tabhi maine bataya tha in any complex number value of i is root of minus 1 to ye ho jayega 2i upon 2 next 2 and 2 gets cancel out so we get x equal to minus 1 plus or minus i now here you can see that we are getting two answers first will be minus 1 plus i and second will be minus 1 minus i so as i said i will make first root as minus 1 plus i as alpha and i will consider second root as beta that is minus 1 minus i is equal to beta now let's start with the proof so in lhs alpha raised to n into beta raised to n is given so i will write minus 1 plus i raised to n and value of beta is minus 1 minus i raised to n. So now we have to find out power n of a complex number 
which is given in Cartesian form. But as you all know that whenever we want to find power of a complex number, we have to use De Moivre's theorem. And De Moivre's theorem says that number should be in polar form. So my first job will be to convert the given number in polar form so that I can find out the power of a number using De Moivre's and then I will substitute value of it over here. So now let's convert the given numbers in polar form. So the number is first number is minus 1 plus i. You can see here that x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 1. Now as x is negative and y is positive this number lies in second quadrant. So in second quadrant theta is given as tan inverse of y by x that is 1 upon minus 1 that is tan inverse of minus 1. So it will give me minus of tan inverse 1 and tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. So it will give me minus pi by 4. But as the number is in second quadrant, we generally add pi in the answer. So we will get 3 pi by 4 as argument for this complex number. Similarly, we will find r. r is nothing but modulus. So we will get modulus as square root of x square plus y square. So square of minus 1 is 1 and square of 1 is again 1. So we will get root of 2. So for this complex number, we will get argument as 3 pi by 4 and modulus as root 2. Now, let's find modulus for the second complex number. The second number was minus 1 minus i. Now you all can see that this number is in third quadrant. Now you all can see that this number lies in third quadrant because here x is also negative and y is also negative. So for this complex number theta will be tan inverse of y by x that is minus 1 upon minus 1 it will give me tan inverse of 1 which is equal to pi by 4. But since this complex number is in third quadrant we generally subtract pi from the theta. So we will get minus 3 pi by 4 as argument of the given complex number. Now let's find r that is modulus of the number. So r will be root of x square plus y square that is minus 1 square plus minus 1 square. So minus 1 square and minus 1 square will give me 2. So it means it is root 2. So now this number will become root 2 into cos of minus 3 pi by 4 plus i sine minus 3 pi by 4. Now as per the rule cos of minus theta is cos theta so this will become cos of 3 pi by 4 and sine of minus theta is minus sine theta so this will become minus i sine 3 pi by 4. Similarly, I will represent other complex number that is minus 1 plus i in polar form that will give me root 2 cos of 3 pi by 4 plus i sine 3 pi by 4 which we have found out on the previous slide. So now I have converted these two numbers in the polar form. Now let's start with the LHS again. So I left that LHS at this step. So I will continue from that step. So I will get this number is nothing but this polar form. So I will substitute it first. So we will get root 2 cos of 3 pi by 4 plus i sine 3 pi by 4 whole raised to n into this number is equal to this polar form. So root 2 cos of 3 pi by 4 minus i sine 3 pi by 4. 
whole raised to n. So this will give me this is root 2 that is 2 raised to half whole raised to n will give me 2 raised to n by 2. According to De Moivre's, this n will come inside and that will give me cos of 3n pi by 4 plus i sin 3n pi by 4. Similarly here it will give me 2 raised to n by 2. By De Moivre's, it will give me cos of 3n pi by 4 minus i sin 3n pi by 4. Next, 2 raised to n by 2 into 2 raised to n by 2. Here we will apply law of indices. So this will become 2 raised to n by 2 plus n by 2. And this is a complex number which is in polar form. So what we'll do is now we have to multiply these two complex numbers. So to multiply two complex numbers, we will use the algebra of complex number properties. So here, if I want to multiply these two complex numbers, you can see this complex number is a positive and this one is negative. So to multiply it, I will convert it in exponential form. So this will give me e raised to i 3 pi by 4 and this complex number will give me e raised to minus i 3 pi by 4 as an exponential form. So 2 raised to n by 2 plus n by 2 will give me 2 raised to n and here as base is equal we can add the power. So in power i 3 pi by 4 and minus i 3 pi by 4 will give me 0. So e raised to 0 and we all know that e raised to 0 is equal to 1. Hence 1 into 2 raised to n will become 2 raised to n and that is our required right hand side. So we have proved the right hand side.